New at six, if you lived in Columbus in the 70s and 80s and were old enough to stay up late, well, you've likely seen an episode or two of Night Owl Theater. It aired right here on 10 TV, seven days a week for 17 years, hosted by Fritz the Night Owl. So where is he now? We take a look back and a look ahead. You've climbed the 10 TV broadcast tower where you meet your voice of the night, Fritz the Night Owl. There was a time when Fritz the Night Owl was the most recognizable personality in Columbus. The hours I was on for like people who were on second shift or nursing mothers, I was their prime time entertainment. Right. And of course, you got to remember in those days there was just four, six, ten, and twenty-eight. So it's not like the competition now. It's Saturday night, time to open once again Fritz the Night Owl's bedtime storybook. As host of Night Owl Theater, which first aired right here on 10 TV from 1974 to 1991, Frederick Fritz Pirenboom became a local star. Now before your very eyes, Dirty Harry becomes Dirty Fritz. He would improvise humorous commentaries in between commercial breaks of classic movies airing overnight. Fritz the Night Owl was an insomniac's best friend. One of the comments I would get so often was, it seems like you're with me saying the things that I would say about the movie or ask about the movie. So. And it was that personal connection that endeared him to viewers. Not to mention those iconic sunglasses, his signature look for which he credits a former 10TV art director. Well, Elton John and everything, the big glasses were popular then. So Dave Wagstaff just, he went to CV, not CV, it was called Revco. He went to Revco and spun the glass sunglass rack around and found these, and took them back, added the horns. The popularity of Night Owl Theater earned Fritz five of his seven Jeez. Emmys and an appearance in the DC comic The Power of Shazam, helping superheroes save the universe. Nowadays, at 88 years young, Fritz is still doing what he loves. The sunglasses came back out when Night Owl Theater was resuscitated in 2010. Columbus filmmaker Mike McGrainer wanted to bring back his childhood hero. So, I mean, if we wanted to, we could put Fritz in a harness and have him fly across the room. Uh, and he was like, pass. <laughs> the reboot is a once-a-month production starring Fritz, just like old times, but with better special effects and movies for a broader audience. So we will be calling... And McGrainer uh, tells me he has more plans in the works. 50th anniversary book, we're starting a podcast this year called Conversations with the Owl, where it's just going to be a candid, him just telling stories throughout his life, production, everything. Uh, that'll be on YouTube probably end of summer, early fall. So, if this movie hosting thing hadn't worked out, what would have become of the Night Owl? He says he probably would have put his secondary education degree from Ohio State to use. So Fritz the Night Owl could have been Fritz the teacher. That's right. But, he says, there are no regrets. Three adventurers in a passionate quest. I've just been a very lucky guy. Somebody up there likes me. Once again, having taken you where other movie hosts feared to go. And in March of 2012, Fritz was inducted into the Horror Host Hall of Fame. But he's not done yet. The reboot is still going strong. Fritz currently records one movie with host bumper segments and vintage commercials per month. Um, we are going to put a link to his website with all this information for you with this story on 10TV.com.